Guys, I thought what we'd do today is make a breakfast scramble that requires no refrigeration. So stay with me. We'll get started. All right, so inside this food box, I keep things in Ziploc bags. So nothing gets into them or nothing happens to them. But then I can also just store some components together. Like you can see here, I've got a couple of 100 Jack pancake mixes in here with dry whole eggs. And that's going to be our key component today is the dry whole eggs to make our omelet. And in another bag here, we have some bacon bits that are pre-cooked, ready to eat. And we have a bag of Anthony's cheddar cheese powder. Cheese, bacon, eggs, what more can you ask for? Nothing needs to be refrigerated. One of my favorite new pieces of kit is this partner cook stove. This thing is like your favorite Coleman cook stove on steroids. I mean, this thing is solid sheet steel. It is an awesome, awesome piece. So you pick up the ears for this windscreen. And the rack comes right out and you can see that the burners are attached to the rack. And right there is where they attach to the gas jets. A really, really simple system. It all comes out at one shot for your hose storage underneath. And all you need to do is come back in here, set this carefully in. I'll get a better camera angle on this of how this slides in and locks down for you. So to put this back in, all you do is just lift it up to guide it into those jet nozzles right there, just like that. And then it just snaps in place and drops in. It's a done deal. You've got your brackets here that hold your windscreen. Just fold your steel windscreen out, set it down, ready to hook up your gas. Propane attachment, real, real simple. Fitting there, screw that dude down, thumb tight. Turn it back around into the position that you're ready to cook and all you gotta do is plug this bad boy into like a five pound propane cylinder. Make sure your stove knobs are turned in the off position. Turn on your gas, your propane tank. Ready to go. I mean, it's that simple. This thing rock solid. Now, I got to tell you, I hate these things because you got to do two motions at one time. That just wears me out, but there she goes. Rock and roll. Got really good fine adjustments all the way up to super blast there. Take it down to simmer, then all the way off. Now we're gonna use the Pathfinder stainless steel skillet here today. And when I pack this stuff back up and clean it, I generally wipe it down with a thin coat of olive oil or mineral oil of some kind, any kind of cooking oil you're carrying. I wipe it down with a thin coat before I pack it away. When I get ready to use it again, I don't generally have to oil it. A little water in that pan. We're just kind of guessing how much. Okay, so now we're going to turn our stove on. And we don't want to turn it on too high in the beginning. So we kind of got a little bit more than a simmer. We're going to take some of these eggs here and a tablespoon of these eggs, as I recall, is a cup is one egg a tablespoon so we're going to take a little more than that and mix it into this water and we can adjust the thickness by how much water we have in here but while that water is getting warm what we're going to do next is we're going to take a whisk in here and we're going to whisk this up and try to get the thickness that we want as it's cooking up here so just keep whisking it as it heats up and that'll get rid of your lumps. Very much like gravy. You can see how that's already starting to thicken up. I'll turn that down some. As we evaporate the water off of this, it'll get a thicker consistency to it. Okay, and we're kind of going to go to the spatula here a little bit, get 
get that thing centered up in there and we're gonna turn it down just a little bit more now we're looking for that cooked egg consistency all right we're gonna pull off the heat a little bit now and add a little bit of cheddar cheese powdered cheddar cheese in there just like that and we'll add a little bacon to that dude just like that Add a little water to that, just like that. Throw that water around in there. Well, I clean my stainless very much like I clean cast iron. I've got water in there thing right now and I got it on the boil. And that's how I'm gonna clean it out. Meanwhile, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Oh man. Yeah. You definitely can't beat that for a morning meal. For sure. I think this one that bad boy some coffee. Coming up. Mm. Mm -mm. Bam. You know, this cook partner stove is just as easy to put away as it was to take out. You can clean it up with anything you need to. It's made out of metal. It's all stainless steel construction. So you can wipe it down with a Brillo pad. You can wipe it down with a Scotch-Brite, a rag, a sponge, whatever you need to do to clean the thing up. But it's just pretty much bomb proof. And I'm telling you, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you're just trying to make money selling that stuff. I don't sell partner stoves. I don't make any money from the sales of partner stoves. I just think it's a great stove. So Cook Partner makes a good product, so I recommend it. It's a premium price, but it's a forever stove. And you say, well, Coleman's are forever too, and they are, but they're not near as heavy duty as this thing is if you really plan on taking that thing out and abusing it. That's just my personal opinion. I like the recessed knobs on this thing so they don't get bumped around. I like the propane aspect of it instead of the white gas aspect of it. Now, if you're traveling overseas, might be a difficult situation to get propane, then maybe this isn't the right stove for you. However, if you're in the U.S. where propane's as easy to get as any Dollar General store, think about this stove. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you joining me for another video in this series on the Gladiator build. Just a few tips and tricks. Look at a couple products, things like that. Like I said, a lot of these products, I don't sell them. I don't make any money off the sales of these products. Some of them are in my Amazon cart. So if you buy them through my Amazon link, then or in my Amazon store, excuse me. If you buy them through my Amazon link, then I do make a small commission on that. But it's just a lot of really, really good products that I wanted to showcase during this build. They're not necessarily all things that I sell at SRO. So I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.